This is the second lesson of the unit 2.1 algorithms. The title of the lesson is Principles of Computational Thinking. This lesson is part of the GCSE OCR Computer Science J277 syllabus. Let's start. We will learn the principles of computational thinking, which are abstraction, decomposition, algorithmic thinking. First of all, we need to ask the basic question, what is computational thinking? Computational thinking is the process of finding a solution to a complex problem. We have a problem, the process of finding the solution to this problem, that is computational thinking. Software developers go through that process, finding solutions, what instructions to use, what order to use them in order to solve that problem. Computational thinking uses three techniques, abstraction, decomposition, algorithmic thinking. Abstraction is the process of removing all unnecessary details from a problem. This allows us to focus on the necessary information. Be careful. You can say unnecessary or necessary details information. You shouldn't say unnecessary or necessary data. Be careful. A very good example of uh, abstraction is the map of the London Underground. This map is simply some color-coded lines with dots on them. You don't see trees, you don't see lakes, you don't see roads, you don't see buildings, people, cars, you don't see these things. This unnecessary information has been removed. Instead, you focus only on the necessary information, which are the tube stations. Another example of abstraction is on an ordering system. When you have an online ordering system, you don't care for the hair color of the client, the weather when he made the order, but you care about his username, password, the items he wants to order, his bank details. Here is a table with some information of an ordering system that are necessary and that are not necessary. Now, let's see this exam question. Elliot plays football for OCRFC. He wants to create a program to store the results of each football match they play and the names of the goal scorers. Elliot wants individual players from the team to be able to submit that information. The first question is define what is meant by abstraction for two marks. If the question is two marks, you need to mention two key things to get two marks. So abstraction is removing unnecessary detail so we can focus on the important, the necessary detail. Next question, give one example of how abstraction could be used when developing this program. Same like before, we don't care about the hair color, the weather, the day that the goals were scored, but we care of the name and the how many goals were scored. So the answer for this question is, the program will ask the player to enter the score of each match and the names of the scorers. The program will not ask for the, for the not important details like the age of the scorer, hair color of scorer, the day the match was played and other examples. Okay, let's move on. Decomposition. In this process of decomposition, we break down a problem into smaller sub-problems. We continue breaking these sub-problems more and more until we reach the point that we have small solvable parts. And then we solve these 
small solvable parts and by doing so we have the big problem solved. A good example of decomposition is if they ask us to create an online shop. Creating an online shop is challenging. For example, as you can see here, this is the big problem, create an online shop. We need to break that further. We need to decide what parts this online shop will have. For example, we say this online shop will have an order system, a storage system, and a delivery system. Fine, we broke down the big problem into three small problems. Are these small problems easy to solve? No. So maybe better break them down even further. The order system will break into validate the user, payment details, and basket. These are much more easier things, problems we can solve. And by doing so, we will solve the bigger problem. But of course we can break them even further if we want. I'm not doing that in that example. The storage system breaks into items in stock, into order more if we are out of stock, and update the website. And the delivery system is breaking down into get address, delivery option, fast or not, and delivery day. So you see we have on the top the big problem and we break it into smaller and smaller and smaller problems, easier and easier to solve. And by solving the smaller problems, we manage to solve the big problem. Let's see an exam question now. State the name of each of the following computational thinking techniques. Very simple question breaking a complex problem down into smaller problems, that is, of course, decomposition, and hiding or removing irrelevant details from a problem to reduce the complexity, that's abstraction. Okay, for two marks, a simple question. Last one, algorithmic thinking. Algorithmic thinking is the process of creating a solution to a problem by breaking this problem into clear steps and putting these steps into the right order and by doing so we solve the problem. A very good example of algorithmic thinking is a recipe. When we want to make a cake for example, we don't do whatever we remember or what comes in our head. We use the recipe. The recipe says steps, one, two, three, four, and we follow these steps in the order given. If we do that, we will have a very nice cake as a result. Let's see one final exam question. Taylor is writing an algorithm to record the results of an experiment. Taylor needs to be able to enter a numeric value which is added to a total, which initially starts at zero. Every time she enters a value, the total is output. The algorithm repeats until the total is more than 100, over 100. Taylor used computational thinking techniques to develop the algorithms. Give two computational thinking te techniques that Taylor has used, describing how they have been used. Be careful. This question is for four marks. You need to mention one computational te uh, thinking technique, explain it. A second one, explain it. And this uh, just wants us to mention the techniques and explain them. So we can say abstraction, focusing on the important elements, ignoring elements that do not contribute to the solution. Okay. And also we can say decomposition breaking a problem down to, into smaller, easier to solve problems. If we don't remember any of this, we can say algorithmic thinking also. Following the steps in the correct order to solve a problem. That was all. Thank you very much for staying until the end of this lesson. I hope it helped you. Uh, 
see you on the next lesson. Have a great day. Thank you.